G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is a bloodied explosive plus one agility handmade rifle. So, day two of flogging a meta until it's dead. This is going to be the second video on it, and I've teased this thing before in my uh, previous videos on that bloodied handmade rifle, and now I've got a bloodied explosive one to shoot things with. So, we've got 60 damage off the bat, powerful auto receiver. Of course, we're going to be using this with our stealth commando build and uh, chucking on demo expert in intelligence, bloody mess in luck to give us even more damage. And we're sitting at 121, no perks activated like the bloody legendary effect or adrenal reaction or adrenaline. 121 damage, it's pretty solid for a starting point, yes. Alrighty, so some build tweaking and also horrible irradiation later. We're at 376 damage with our handmade rifle of the bladed explosive variety, which is excellent, isn't it? It's a, that's actually really strong. Also, I could put a drum magazine on this, but I don't give a shit. I don't think mag capacity will matter too much if we're one-shotting everything. So, yeah, aesthetics over um, function there, I suppose. Alrighty, so here we are outside Mudie's Plaza. They're going to have a really bad day. Anyways, so here are my attachments on my person, my armor bits, and here are my buffs. A um, little bit of grilled radstag does great for their carry weight. Anyways, so Stealth Commando away, let's get started, shall we? Uh, also, remember to reload the fucking thing first. Oh, it's this bug. See, you can tell when I um, switch servers for this shit because I have to re-equip the weapon. Ha! <laughs> he dead. Wait, wait, wait. I'm missing out on a little bit of damage here. We, we can't have any of that, so let me find my covert operative again. Alright. Yeah, there we go. 3.75. See, this is why I don't need the drum. I'm gonna just one-shot all these fucking losers, man. Just kill them. So, I don't have anything else to say other than I want it. I got it. I want it. I got it. Black. My handmade. Gee, thanks. Just bought it. I see it. I like it. I want it. I got it. And with all of those things killed, 513 damage. I can't actually remember how much um, damage we got with the non explosive handmade, but I'm sure it was a little bit less than that. So, yep, pretty solid so far. You know, if there's less than 35 enemies inside of uh, Mudie's Plaza when we get onto the inside, if they've spawned in. Um, we might be able to, like, clear out the whole place in one magazine. See, this is why it's broken. This is why I said I'm going to ride this meta until it dies, because this is insane damage. And, you know, Bethesda aren't going to allow us to get away with this for so long. So I'm just going to soak this up. Get it, because bloodied and also womanly um, hygiene items, because they soak up stuff. Um, yeah, yeah, this, is, this probably won't be forever. So, uh, yeah, be sure to enjoy it while you can. We'll have something else coming soon. Although... Um, but Thesda haven't mentioned anything about patching the current, uh, meta now. In fact, they commented on how it's interesting. The only interesting thing about this is how high I can push my goddamn damage. Alrighty, looks like we've got some muties in here. Do you reckon I could do this without sneaking at all? Just like, no, I'd just get shot at by a bunch of super mutants, so probably a bad idea. Uh, we are in danger though, so whatever. Oh, being suppressed. Just, uh... Make sure he stops shooting at me. At least now they'll reveal themselves, right? Oh, the doggers have decided to show up to work today. Good on you. We've actually got full spawns here for once. This is like the first time in a couple of days. Oh, well. Oh, I'm wasting lots of 556s five on uh, these super mutants. Just missing easy shots. It's a shame. Man, I could have put a perforating magazine on this. That'd be funny. Just a tiny little mag on it. At least at that, with that, it'd weigh a little bit less because I think this weighs like 17.2. I wouldn't be so mad if I lost one of those agility. That's not a super mutant, by the way. Um, if I lost that agility point that I got for that tertiary effect as a uh, little bit of wireless, just to, you know, it doesn't really work when you've got all things attached to it because the attachment weights sort of stack up. But, um,. Having, what, six or seven pounds off this thing? That's alright, I suppose. It's not like I really need anything else. Also, that prediction about bloodied meta changing, I don't know. I've got nothing to back that up, but, you know, hopefully they don't see this gameplay and realise, holy shit, this guy is totally breaking our game and uh, we need to stop this. Although, my stealth commando video, oh shit. Ah, just a one star. 
Fuck you, I've already got one. Um, uh, does anyone want a bloody Gatling laser? Um, it's on the house. Or it's on the winter. Oh, okay. There you are, mate. I'd be worried for a second. Thought my spawn's been taken up, but, uh, no problems here. So, um... Hope you've all been looking forward to this one. I've had a few comments saying, Oi, where's the fucking handmade of the bloodied and the explosive variety? Stop showing off these stupid one-star weapons. Oh shit, we're in danger. Now we panic. Okay, we're, we're not in danger anymore. This guy didn't fucking notice his mates being obliterated, which is nice. Alright, we'll open this up and see if we can't get ourselves some kills. Ugh. No wonder I'm getting killed all the time in this game if I miss easy shots like that. Ha! His head popped right off. Like, ooh. Yeah, this is like Stealth Commando to the maximum. Like, the conclusion of Stealth Commandoing is right here. Like, you don't even have to worry about having this thing degrade on you because you're only firing one bullet per kill, at least in here. And, um, you know, despite the bloody damage doing a lot when we actually hit a target, you actually still have to hit targets to actually do a respectable amount of damage. See, if I was to shoot at his legs there, it's going to take fucking ages, so it, it pays to have good aim, yes. Unfortunately, the splash damage isn't boosted by the bloody legendary effect, which is a real shame. Back off from me. Okay, I'm, I'm lucky that one had a uh, semi-auto assault rifle, because if you had a went full auto on me, I would have got chopped down like fucking, I don't know, chop suey. Yeah, I found a, I found a, a, a parody to that song. It's like Chop Suey, but you overslept. Then it's just the dude saying wake up all the time. It was funny. I discovered it on when I was uh, eating lunch at work. That was fun. Good times. Are we done yet? Not nah, just a couple more to go. Just a couple more to kill. Got to figure out where the hell they are. My game volume isn't especially high. I turned it down. Hopefully, like, post, like, you know, I'm not completely drowned out by the sound of screaming super mutants who are exploding into little bloody giblets. Ah! He saw me through a wall. Okay, that happens quite a lot around here. Do you mind backing off a little bit? And we are done. What else can I say than it, you know, it does a lot of damage and, you know, that's kind of it. That kind of covers it. Okay, I think I've come to the conclusion that they have changed how these uh, ghouls spawn because I'm seeing these guys a lot more frequently now, so I hope they rebuff the spawns and basically what I'm doing here is uh, annoying all the ghouls by blowing up their pre-war cars. See, not even ghouls, like even ghouls are car people, they don't like seeing their automobiles trashed. Although, did that elicit a response out of you? How could that not? How many fucking cars do I have to blow up to make you guys actually notice that I'm here? Anyways, regardless of that, we'll just get started on these sleeping dumbass ghouls. That's a legendary fancy hairbrush. Uh, bloodied and swing speed. And the... Okay, thanks for the radium rifle. I've got many of those. Ah, shit, it's a squatter. We've had sleepers, but now we have squatters. Okay, looks like we're getting a response out of these dudes, and we actually obliterated the one standing next to that one with splash damage. You know, these ghouls don't have the biggest health pools, and they're not exactly as tanky as, you know, beauties, but still, I'm actually kind of impressed that we were able to, we were able to translate that damage well. Okay, I did notice a Wendigo just there. Yeah, you can scream all you want, mate. That's not going to help you out, is it? Alright, looks like we're... Oh! I saw a dude, okay, I'm gonna get my distance away because I don't have any Radex on me, so a couple of ghoulie hits is going to kill me. So we'll keep on going. Wake you up a little bit, just get you out of your cover there behind that. And now we can just simply slaughter the rest of these. Man, I'm, I'm super annoyed about that Gatling laser of the bloodied variety not being three-star. I've already got one, man, come on, you need to do better than that game. And if I can resist from uh, scripting it for anything, I'll probably, you know, post it in the Discord right now, so I can get rid of it as soon as possible. But yep, against ghouls, no fucking problem. You probably didn't see that one coming, did you? You know, it's so efficient at killing ghouls that I forgot to clear out this side, because, you know, they never really got aggro on me at all. So, uh, yeah, it looks like uh, me being a fucking idiot is uh, 
It's uh, the only detriment to the bloodied explosive handmade rifle, it seems. So this is why it's one of the most... Is that a voice crack? This is why it's one of the most sought-after weapons right now, because you can stealth commando with it and still get insane damage out of it. Like, need I explain this thing? You're watching the gameplay. You can come to your own conclusions about this. Yeah, a little bit overpowered, you might argue that. Hey, that's actually doing 95 damage completely unspecked in heavy guns too. More ghouls, this time hopefully with gun foo. Yay, there's a gun foo chain right there. Not really that impressive when there's only four of them, eh? Take that. Look at this dude. Look at this. Wait, is he already dead? Ha! He's already dead. Yeah, he couldn't face the might of this weapon. Oh, don't worry, Swan, we're coming back for you. But first, I'm feeling the craving for crab sticks. Now, I could say itch for crab sticks, but that sounds that sounds wrong. I was going to say itch, but no. That I, I thought, yeah, I made up my mind and said that was a bad idea. And apparently, the My Alert Queen is scorched again, and the rest of her cronies aren't. So, um, she might be in fleeing mode again today, which is odd. So, this is happening, it's just sort of been happening. Ugh, that's a fucking thing right there. Fucking mute. Fucking lizard looking dude. Alrighty. What's our adrenaline? 60%. Oh, we're so ready for the queen. Now, let's see how she reacts to this. If she fucking books it out of here, we know that she's a coward again. <laughs> Didn't even get the chance, did you now? That's what you get for being a prick yesterday. My uh, instigating... Uh, combat rifle, which is now legendary script, was uh, very unhappy with that, that's for sure. Okay, once more with feeling. This time I don't have... Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, that bug's annoying. Ah, I one-shotted him, but... What? That was weird. You saw his health sort of stuck there for a second and the game added more damage. Uh-oh. Is the handmade rifle a bugged rifle? Is it? You know, it takes a really powerful weapon to kill a My Alert Queen before she stopped screaming, and you just saw it there. Okay, we're done with these crabs again. That's more crab sticks for me. So when it comes to making videos, usually I'm too fucking lazy to, you know, summon the Scorch Beast Queen to test it on her. I find it too, um, inconsistent anyway, but whatever. If we're here, we might as well soak up a little bit of damage on the queen. You can't even tell what you're doing to her, really. And of course, I get staggered by fucking nothing. Yeah, I was jumping there. There's no reason why I should have been staggered, game. Alright. Just watch the health bar, see if we can actually do something here. I don't know if that's only us, but that's pretty good, eh? And this is the time where we actually need the drum. In fact, what I'm gonna do is gather a little bit of damage here. A bit of crit spamming. Yeah, I'm not one for... Oh shit, that's some bad reds. Um, yeah, I'm not one for having the whole uh, vanity thing, saying it's... Oh yeah, it's all me, but fuck no. I think we're doing a good job. Now yeah, if I could just target things that are worth targeting. Not that clean, the other... No. No vats. Don't do that. Well, at least we've got full adrenaline now, so we'll just hose her down from over here. And hopefully not get spotted by things. Ow. Okay, that was a little bit close. Uh, you are still alive. You can die. Alright, looks like I should be reasonably safe out here. Check behind me. Nothing there. And we can finish up the queen nice and easily. If I get a god roll out of this, I'm going to laugh. Because I contributed very little to this boss fight. Ah, there's a sloth behind me. Well, you can die. And I missed out on the killing blow there. But, uh, yep. There we go. And with uh, about 17 and a half minutes remaining there, which is pretty damn solid. Alright, I'll probably let you know what I got, if it's anything good. Literally, the only thing I got note out of that was a prime hunting rifle receiver. Also, just a three-star ripper, which I have uh, put in the stash. Hi, Swan. Oh, he's proving um, he's able to resist my bullets. Oh, holy shit. You know, that might be the fastest time that I've killed Swan in. That was almost instantaneous. That was dirty. Okay, looks like the Scorch Beast police are after me now because they've actually given me a big boy level 80 Scorch Beast. 
And you're just gonna have to take my word for it if you didn't see it earlier, because he's he's actually flew out of range there. So uh, interesting. And yeah, I am pulling my punches a little bit when it comes to fighting the bats because obviously I don't have the prime receiver on, which will give me a little bit better damage. But with damage, how it is, is it really going to matter all that much? Am I really struggling enough against Scorch Beast to uh, warrant the use of that? Where the fuck are you going, by the way? Are you going to get me in a stray front, are you? Well, you're almost dead already. Let's make sure we don't fucking get killed from that. Surprisingly, he's not diseased. Also, we'd be getting better damage on him if we had have, uh, bothered to attack him during the night. But like I said before, we're not struggling at all. So, you know, having that extra sneak attack damage during the later game hours is just icing on the cake. This thing is powerful enough to, you know, you don't really have to worry about stuff like that. So I'm just going to clear out the rest of these gun zombies before I get gunned down myself. Still in caution somehow, but... I think you get the point of this weapon. That was the Bladed Explosive Plus One Agility Handmade. And um, if you're watching this late in, please don't be the guy to leave the comments complaining about how your legendary RNG isn't good. There's nothing I can do about it. And also, if any people, um, you know, accuse me of having a duped item, well, um, this is the same one that I had during that... Um, video where I used the, just the one star bloodied handmade so you know it's been a long time coming but it's finally here and hope you've enjoyed this particular video if you'd like to see this thing in your game perhaps it has been duped on mass so I don't know have a look out obviously this shit won't probably surface on M76 because all of those admins are fucking they know about it they know that there's some fucking dodgy weapons going around but uh oh well what do you do eh uh, you can probably find them easier if you go off M76, that's my advice. Oh, I'm being shot at. And stabbed. Where the f Hang on, where the hell did these guys come from? No ambushing me during my outro, you bastards. Well, at least we got some good old uh, gun fill action there as we reach the next level. How much health do I have, just out of curiosity? 24. Yep. Thank you for watching, guys.